I, I thought it was uh, particularly interesting on the demographic session, right? Talking about how we're very, very focused on trying to figure out what the millennials want. But turn out the buying power, the big part of the population in many parts of the world, the G6 and also the emerging countries, is actually the older generation. Right, so, so it's interesting to think about how, the old, how do you integrate the older generations and the millennial generations coming up and, and how does that affect real estate needs and supply and demand as a whole. That was an interesting session, I thought. In the infrastructure session, I thought what was uh, interesting being from Asia, we always knew how important infrastructure is. Right? You, look, you witness the growth of China versus the growth of India. India, the lack of infrastructure hampered the growth, which is why China today is five to six times the GDP size of India, even though 20 years ago they were neck to neck, right? But that actually then we all talked about in the infrastructure session how politics has a lot to do with it, because the political system of the West and political system of India, of the food democracy, actually does not allow for infrastructure to be built, even though the government knows it's the right thing to do, they don't have the power to go about doing it, which is why I think also Boris Johnson at lunch also said the mayor should all get more power. I think if they have more power, then they will actually be able to influence infrastructure and do what the government is supposed to do, that every, every voter may not necessarily have the vision or the understanding of what that means to their life down the road.